is Tammy and I am the Immigration Program Specialist at Sahara. I'm here today with our board chair, Brenda Gandhi, who is also a family law attorney at Jug LLP. Since the stay-at-home order started in March, Sahara has seen a surge in calls from people in domestic violence situations, and so we thought it would be informative and helpful to talk to Ms. Gandhi about it. Let's start from the basics. What is domestic violence? Domestic violence is when a family member like a spouse, an ex-spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or any other family member threatens you, harasses you, stalks you, hits you, assaults you. That is termed as domestic violence under the California Family Code. So if someone is in a domestic violence situation and wants to leave, what are the first steps they need to take? If someone is experiencing domestic violence, they should have a safety plan in place. Their first step should be to call 911 immediately and inform them about this abuse. Now, if they can't talk about this abuse because the abuser is around, they should just dial 911 and leave the phone on the side. So an interesting case was on the news recently where a woman called 911 and started ordering pizza. And the dispatcher was smart enough to realize that she was asking for help in a domestic violence situation and he sent the law enforcement personnel immediately and it did turn out to be a domestic mm -hmm. violence situation. So call 911 and have your bag ready to go, have your essential items in the bag for you and your children, your clothes, your keys, your green card, your birth certificate, your marriage certificate, your social security card, your children's school records, immunization records. Have all these records ready if you need to, you know, leave your abuser. Uh, also stay away from bathrooms and kitchen. It, it's kind of safe for you to do that. And also go to a place where, uh, you know, the places are open 24 hours like police stations, and fire stations. I don't recommend going to hospitals right now because of the COVID-19 yeah. situations. They're really inundated with uh, so many COVID-19 cases. I would also call Sahara at the hotline number, which is available 24 seven, or you can also call your family law attorney. What about restraining orders? What should someone do if they want a restraining order? Do they go to the court? Do they go to the police station? And how long does it take to get a restraining order? So if you're experiencing a domestic violence situation and depending on the urgency, you should call 911 immediately. So law enforcement personnel can issue an emergency protective order anywhere between seven to 30 days right now for the new emergency rules. But you would have to go to the family court to get a final restraining order. So courts right now are open and entertaining emergency or restraining order situations like that. And you're getting a hearing date anywhere from um, three to four weeks right now. So at this final restraining order hearing, if the court finds that there has been abuse, which depend on the facts of every case, you can get a final restraining order anywhere between three to five years. How difficult is it for someone to file for divorce during the COVID-19 situation and what forms would they need? It isn't difficult to file for divorce in the COVID-19 situation. For example, uh, Los Angeles County is accepting new divorce cases, but don't expect a quick turnaround time at this time. The courts are heavily understaffed and they're also trying to keep their personnel safe. So if you file for divorce, they will accept the case but it is going to be some amount of delay at this time. And the forms that you need to file for a divorce situation are FL 100, 105, 150, 160, 141. You will also have to look at the local forms in that particular county and other custody related forms. What about child custody cases? Is it safe for children to go from one home to another during this COVID-19 shutdown? And how do people ensure that child custody orders are being followed? That's a good question, Tammy. We're getting a lot of these calls where one parent asks if the child can go visit the other parent. A lot of courts have posted directives on their websites, like Orange County Superior Court and Kern County Superior Court, where they've asked parents to follow the current custodial orders. 
unless your spouse or ex-spouse is a frontliner or a healthcare practitioner who has direct exposure to COVID-19 cases, I wouldn't rush to court to do anything to the custody orders right now. In fact, even if your spouse or ex-spouse is a frontliner, I'd still urge you to contact your attorney so that they can speak to your spouse's attorney and come to a good resolution. But all courts are expecting parties to follow the current court orders and if you don't, they're going to use that against you later on in the proceedings. If you have any further questions, you can always contact Sahara or you can also contact me directly at the number below. Thank you for watching us. Thank you.